Russell here with Victory Electronics. If you've ever seen this icon before, initially you might get a little scared, uh, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Uh, basically, you can't find the di directory, and I don't have an iOS. Uh, something has happened to the directory or that file. Um, hopefully you have a backup information. Um, this is basically to reload that operating system for you. Um, so any information that's on that drive is basically going to be deleted. This is starting off from scratch. So we're going to shut down the unit. We're going to press and hold power just to force a shutdown. It takes a couple of seconds. We'll give it a couple of seconds just so it can figure out, okay, yes, I am really shut down. We're going to press the command and R button together. And then we'll press and hold the power button. Give it a second. You'll see your little Apple icon come on and then your internet uh, security comes on. We need to log on to your network. So we'll do my super secret password. Okay, from here it's loading up some files onto our uh, temporary information so that we can uh, access Apple servers, we can download the iOS, and proceed through reloading the operating system. It does take about a minute or two um, for this to figure out what's going on. It is loading some files onto your drive. Okay, we're back and we're all loaded up, so I'm going to walk you through this. First step we're going to do is go over to our disk utility, press continue. Brings you up to a sheet like this. So what we're gonna do is under the internal drive, we're gonna grab whatever the drive is here. This one's untitled, um, I've already deleted it. Um, we're just gonna delete it again. No matter what the title is, um, we're just gonna delete whatever is there. You can give it any name you want. So name you want, whatever. So erases it, gives it a new title. Um, I just gave it a just random name. If you see multiple ones, um, just delete them all and put them together, no big deal. Um, then we're going to go back here, just X out of that, and then we're going to hit reinstall Mac OS. So I'll press continue. So this one's Mac OS Sierra, press continue. To download and restore Mac OS, your computer's eligibility will be verified with Apple. So you need to make sure that you're connected to Wi Fi at this point. So it's just loading installation information. Just be patient, it takes a couple of seconds. All right, here we go. So you have to agree to their software license agreement. No one ever reads it, it doesn't matter, just agree. Select your drive, so this is the drive I just selected, name you want, and hit install, and away you go. Um, this process, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, can take anywhere from five minutes to 20 minutes, um, really just depends. But after this, it'll basically be like a new system. Um, it downloads all the information for the iOS, it does everything on its own, and then it gives you the original setup once you're done. So hopefully this was a help.